Hi Leo, in this video I'm going to let you know what you need, everything you need to know to manifest anything that you want with ease, joy, and bliss. For those of you who are new to me, I am a law of attraction expert and intuitive channel just like, just like Esther Hicks. I could help you get into the vibration of anything that you want to manifest that comes on in. And I have two spots open for spiritual one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're looking to sell a business. I've helped someone do that around a quarter of a mil for a gym. I've also helped people get their own businesses launched from no business to their first five clients. I've also helped people who have established businesses get up to consistent 10, 20K months. Um, I've also just helped people get dates. I've also helped people get in the vibration of just being happier. I've also helped people switch from the corporate world to start in their own side business. So whatever it is you want to manifest, if you want my help getting the vibration, there's a link in the upper right corner and down below. Um, so Leo's, it kind of looks like for you, there's, you're going through a little bit of a spiritual awakening, a little bit of a becoming aware that there's something, there's something to the unseen. It's like, you're kind of becoming aware of law of attraction. You're becoming aware of maybe it's angels, maybe it's spirit guides. Maybe you're opening up super spiritually to the chakras and all that. But it's, you're definitely just starting to become aware that there's there's more than meets the eye to how the world works. And it, it's very safe for you to explore this right now. Because um, as of right now, Leos, we do see that you're in law of attraction terms, that you're out of alignment or that you're you're trying to force a manifestation. When rather we invite you to go back into feeling safe, to experience this spiritual, this vibrational, this emotional growth that you want to go through, the more that you can relax into feeling safe about this growth, the more that things will start flowing for you again. Leo's because Leo's in terms of what's coming up for you this month um it, it's kind of like okay so there's something that you want to start there's a new thing that you want to start you got the ace of Aries. you want to start a new adventure okay and it's something that right now in your mind you're like it's a good idea in your mind you're like I should take this journey I should do this but there's a part of you that you're just not allowing yourself to enjoy it and if you're not enjoying it you're not manifesting if you're not enjoying it you're in resistance that means you're not getting what you want. You're not getting the clients. You're not getting the new job. You're not getting the dates. You're not getting the girlfriend. You're not getting the car. You're not, you're not whatever it is you want. You're in your head about, I want to start this new thing. I, like, I think it's good that you feel hopeful. It's good that you're like, all right, let's start this new thing. But you got to feel good about it in order to get it. Because um, the thing that's crossing you the most right now is the nine of water. So guys, you're too in your head about what it is you want to start to get the ace of air. Nine of Earth is letting you know that you're not allowing yourself to enjoy it. And your challenge this month is the Nine of Water. The Nine of Water is a couple all about tend to what, Leo, the more that you tend to your emotions, the more that you tend to your vortex, the more that you tend to your emotions, aka how you feel about something, the it's okay to want money. It's okay to want to have time with my boyfriend, with my girlfriend. It's okay to want more intimacy with someone. It's okay to want to enjoy time with my kids more. It's okay to want to be more present in the moment with them. It's okay to want a more peaceful mindful mind and just be there with them. It's okay to experience love. The more that your challenge or your opportunity this month, Leo's, is to allow yourself to feel good about what you want. And then, because that's how it works, guys. When you feel good about what you want, step one, love attraction. Wouldn't it be nice to experience X in my life? Step two, allow universe to align the energies and bring opportunities to you. The more that you feel good about that original ask, the more that they can bring more opportunities to you quicker. If you feel bad about it, it's like they try to send you something and they can't. They're hitting a brick wall. I want a boyfriend. Oh, this guy wants a girlfriend. Let's get them aligned. Oh, we can't because she doesn't think it's possible. Wah, wah, wah. The more they're like, all right, I may not see how it's possible right now. I may not see who he is. I may not. I mean, I may just not even think it's possible, and that's okay. I know that the universe can still deliver. You're going to get the date instead of, okay, makes sense, guys. Comment below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Because um, in terms of what's happened for you in the recent past, Leo's, you got the strength major Kana card here. So you definitely, the, what's motivating you to take this new step is that you want to start feeling better about life. You want to start feeling <clears throat> more balanced in the masculine and feminine energy. You want to just start enjoying life more. You want to allow more good feeling thoughts. You want to be like, because you know you're Leos. <laughs> it's okay to not just take, jump straight to action and be the tiger, be the lion, be the, be the, you know, that extroverted leader. It's okay for you to want to just feel good about staying in 
on a Friday night, you know, like it's okay to feel good. So your motivation was very based on that. In terms of what you're going through right now, you're to get the unity card upright with that stuff for the basis. It's definitely letting you know that you're kind of going through reshuffling of who you let into your life. And it's like you're reevaluating almost everyone and everyone, every situation, everything. How do I really like to spend my time? Do I like to do that or do I do that for someone else? Do I, do I feel good and recharged after this person or do I feel drained? You're just starting to go through that awakening of how you, of how you're starting to go through that spiritual and emotional awakening about how you feel around different people, different jobs, where you work, your boss, your coworkers. And it's like, allow yourself that process because the more that you allow yourself to do that, the more that you can then take aligned action to only go towards things that feel good versus don't. Sometimes you have to go through that awakening period of, oh, I don't really like that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I don't really, uh-oh, this is a seven-year friendship that I'm now kind of realizing Want, want, want. It was more out of obligation than joy. I'm not, I'm not saying it's all going to be fun and frolics. So you're, you're really evaluating who you want in your life, the types of people, situate. You're evaluating everything that you want in your life right now because you do ultimately want to enjoy life more and have a more balanced approach to life. You just, there's just got to be a way to go through life and feel good. There's got to be a way to go through life and feel recharged. Um, because in terms of, yeah, do you check, you got the strength card and the balance card. Um, so the balance card is like, this is the future card coming through. The strength card is like, you have an internal desire just to feel better about life, to balance your emotions with your actions. The balance card coming out, this is, I think this is the justice. This is like, well, bam, you're going through this process no matter what. So it's definitely, it's a month about you starting to balance. This is how I feel. Becoming aware, this is how I feel. Becoming aware, this is what I want. This is what I want to manifest. And then allowing yourself to feel good about it. Um, and allowing yourself to, you know, prioritize what you want to experience and what you want to feel to start allowing it in. In terms of, yeah, in terms of your personal power this month, Leo, it's definitely all about, you don't need to go read a bunch, like, you don't need to go read a bunch of books for it. You don't need to, you don't need to go learn new things. You really just need to ask yourself, ask us, ask the universe, ask your inner being, ask your spirit guide, ask your soul. I'm ready to experience this into my life and I'm ready to feel better about having that experience in my life. I'm ready to enjoy it. I'm ready for better feeling thoughts. I'm ready for all of that good stuff. Um, there's nothing wrong with you, Leo. There is nothing wrong with you. You are perfect. And you are beautiful just as you are. And we really want you to hear that you are perfect and you are beautiful and you are perfect just as you are. <sighs> okay, in terms of outside influences this month, it's, yeah, it's almost as if the universe has given, been, has been giving you little nudges. Like, go ahead and start this. Go ahead and take that, like, you've been getting the divine downloads. You've been getting the inspired action, the ideas, the messages from the angels, the spirit guides. And it's like, Go ahead and take this new nudge in your life. Go ahead and move in this direction. You've been getting little nudges from them. Um, in terms of your hopes or fears this month, um, it's almost, okay, this is actually, this is coming up as a fear for you. It's almost as if Leo's, you're like, but if I take this, if I take this leap of faith, if I take this step, if I, if I allow myself to enjoy it and I get this, life might become more hard for me. I may not like it. More money, more problems. Oh, if I get a successful business, there's going to be way more work on my hands. It's, it's you have a fear that once you get your manifestation that it's going to be harder on you than it's going to be better. And we invite you to just kind of release that, let that go, and know that it's about asking for what you want and include the other things. It's not, I want a million dollars. It's, I want to experience a million dollars in my life. The essence of that, that I want to experience freedom. I want to experience freedom of location. I want to experience um, financial flow. I want to experience good times. I want to experience just peace of mind. I want to experience spending my time how I want to spend it. Um, and I'm ready to feel good about it. Okay. Um, in terms of your outcome this month, yeah, like you got the six of earth. So you're just some serious resistance here, Leo. There's just a little bit of resistance of moving for because you're going through the switch of being in your head, jumping to action to allowing you to touch into your inner being a more spiritual, a more emotional approach. Um, and once you, so like as of this energy snapshot, Leo, we just want to let you know that you can get what you want much quicker, much easier if you'd allow yourself to just simply feel better about what it is you want. I want love. I want intimacy. And that's okay that I want it. It's okay that I want it. I do want more money. I want to buy that house. I want travel. I want that car. And that's okay. It is okay to want that. And I'm going to allow myself 
to experience it. I'm going to allow myself to receive the money and feel good about it. I'm going to allow myself to receive the girlfriend into my life and love it. I'm going to allow myself to enjoy the time with my children more and love it more. I'm ready to feel better. All right. Like Leo's love you bunches comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you're going through. Let me know how it resonated. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I have some awesome law of attraction trainings coming up this month. Um, they're going to be jam packed with information for every vibration that you're at. So you can move through it to get to the next one above it. Um, I have a Facebook group below. I go live in there. If you want to be a little more interactive with me. And again, if you want one-on-one -on -one spiritual coaching, there's a link in the upper hand corner and down below. Um, and, oh, and I also have a free guide guys to, um, I put a lot of freebies together. I have a, I made a PDF so that you can understand clairvoyance, clairsentient, clairadescence, and one of the others. I also put together a guided meditation for you to meet your own spirit guide. I've been getting great feedback from that one. Um, and I also created a PDF that explains all five steps of law of attraction for you because there's nothing out there right now, at least not that I've found, that explains all five steps of law of attraction. They just do the first three. So I made that for you guys. There's a link below to sign up. I think it's like if you're ready to meet your spirit guide, just sign up there and you'll get all three. Um, okay, hugs and love, Leos. Mwah.